Hello guys, it's LMK with your Gamer Goggles, Gamer-Goggles.com, and today we're going to take a look at the Starfinder flip tiles. Uh, <clears throat> this is a box breaking per se, but I cheated. I opened it up because I was excited. I like maps. Uh, inside, you have all the flip tiles, uh, which are all double sided, and you also have uh, these organizational tabs that uh, I haven't totally figured out how I'm going to use them yet, if I'm going to use them. And actually, I want to turn this on. That's a little bit better, I think. Um, they're just flip tabs like you would have in your your uh, notebook. Like that, so you can set, set a, sort them by rooms and things of that nature. And if you're really creative, you can flip it over and sort the back side that way as well. Uh, because like I said, the flip tiles are uh, both sided or two sided. Uh, there are a lot of repeats, but uh, as a result, you can make a large, a large map. Uh, maybe I'll do that if you guys want me to make a map and then take a picture of it so you guys can use it and create your own story with it or a series of maps. I can have a lot of fun doing that. Uh, each one of these is, I think, let's see, three, uh, six, 30 feet long. Uh, so. <clears throat> You can do a lot of things with Fog of War with the maps. Uh, as you can see uh, from this particular figure, uh, they're about a one inch, a one inch square. This is a one inch base. Uh, and if you use the square bases, let's see here, who's bigger here? So here's a, a Reaper Frost Giant that takes four squares to put it in perspective as to uh, size and things of that nature. And then uh, here's another large creature. This is a slightly smaller base than the Hill Giant. Uh, this is a Rackham miniature that I kind of want to paint up as a bad guy in a Pathfinder game I'm running. And I thought that I had... Where is she at? Oh, she's gone. Uh, I, have, I have a monk. We'll use a monk there. A monk with a square base. Yes, that's me. I'm not quite that physical. Physique-y Physique looking. Uh, anyway, so you can use dry erase, permanent marker, or wet erase on these. Uh, and as you can see, there's a wide variety of different things you can do. You, it, you can even, if you're good or want to, you can overlap them to make different lengths of rooms. Like that. Uh, you can sticky tack them together. You can do whatever. Uh, here's different, the uh, different tile pieces and when this is all said and done we'll we'll grab a handful and show you how easy it is to throw them together uh, quarters corridor um, a launch bay I don't know if you can tell but that's that's out to outer space then more outer space some kind of console or uh, energy station. Maybe it's a hydration station because it's blue. Uh, another piece of equipment, fan turbines. A lot, lot of corridors to make things happen. Uh, some repeating uh, styles and images. Uh, again, another little thing of plants. Uh, instead of uh, a bunk in this one. You've got storage containers. More corridors. As you can see, everything is double-sided. Uh, they're all the same size, which I really like. I hope they don't ever do anything that um, introduces things. Although, a special, you know, if they, they, if they theme these out and they do the adventure paths with them, um, maybe special tiles like hexagons or octagons um, that fit the adventure would be kind of cool. Uh, for example, uh, I'd play some games where insects uh, kind of do hive type things. So if you could find a way to do this in a uh, that gives it more of a hive type feel, like this one's just uh, uh, consoles with computers and chairs, uh, that would be pretty awesome, I think. And I don't know. What, that's the other thing I don't know about this is I don't know if you can take this and use this to map out any of the adventure paths. That would be a really cool product line. 
uh, to add in addition to it. They already use, uh, they, they make flip mats, so why not make the tiles to do that for Fog of War? Again, another set of consoles. Um, set that one aside. We'll use that one in a little bit. Uh, as you can see, a few of these repeat uh, and are the same image, but you can do a lot. Like I'm going to set that one aside too. I like that one. Um, this one just is uh, exposed flooring uh, where all the, the uh, com not the computers, but all the electronics and all the steam or all the pressure and all the chemical lines are running. Um, computer boards. I like that one a lot. Different grates there. Uh, again, another computer console. And here's a 100 millimeter base. Put, put things in perspective for like a dragon or something more sinister from space. Um, there you go. There you go. All right, so we'll start with this guy in the middle. And we'll, we'll back up a little bit and we'll make a real quick map. And then we'll put, we'll turn it like this. Then we'll, how far can I go? Can I get one more? I can get one more. We'll go like that. No, we won't go like that. We will, real quick. Well, we'll find it as we go. And we'll do this. Like that, like that. Go like that. Now you can see that the walls here created a room around this large um, uh, access panel on the floor. Um, we'll do this over here, some kind of console, we'll do that, an exterior maybe as a research station, um, I kind of want to find, we'll do this, we'll do this up here. There's a hatch there to another level. Um, access to other points of the ship or whatever you want it to be. I want to do... Is that what I want? I want to overlap a tile. So I'm looking for a particular tile in this instance. Oops, I just made a big mess. Um, there. So I'm going to slide this tile underneath here like this. I'm going to put this tile here, like that. Now, it does kind of create some other problems. Um, you, can, you can just create a piece of, I'm going to call this a piece of cardboard if you wanted. If you wanted to make this all end here like this, um, you can take dry erase marker and wall that. Zoom out just a little bit more so you can see what I'm talking about. You can take a piece of marker and make that one room with one door here or here that's a hatch to another level this can be open to go somewhere else and then down here you can do the same the same type of thing you can make it come back in you can add more more consoles and end the ship that way and make that all wall but that gives you an idea of how easy it is to use thanks for watching guys this is a uh, box breaking from through Gamer Goggles, gamer-goggles.com, on the flip tiles for Starship. For Starship. On the flip tiles for Starfinder. <laughs> it's the Space Station starter set. And it is just a starter set, so I can't really, I really can't wait to see what the expansions do and how they play into each other. Um, oh, the other thing that I didn't mention, and we'll zoom back in here real quick, is. Tiles have copyright and date on them. They also have um, numbers uh, to correlate the their positions. Like this is uh, Space Station Zero, I guess, for starter set. 
Um, and then it's 27A is the one side and 27B is the other side. So you can take notes as to what connects with what. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Hi guys. Meet the Nibbles who's gonna go down. <laughs> she just did, decided not to go down my back. So we'll do this for her so she's comfy. Uh, thanks for watching my video and I appreciate it. Uh, please, please hit the like button. Uh, and, and share it if you you know know somebody who might be interested and of course there's always Twitter and the Facebook thingy and soon I have a newsletter coming that'll be down there or in the link below and my kitty cat loves that idea uh, so anyway uh, there was one more thing there was one more thing oh yeah subscribe be a part of my community our community let's make it grow together see you guys at a con somewhere or a local store or if I'm driving through the country and maybe a game club. I don't know. You're not going to go knock down my camera. Bye, guys.